Hey, I'm Alan. Welcome to Bros Fitness. Welcome to Naked Yoga Shorts. My goal is not just to create some videos, but to inform and motivate you. So comment, subscribe, and follow along at brosfitness.com. You can also check out my Patreon fa- page or tweet me at fitnessbros and Instagram me at bros.fitness. Today I'm joined by Doodle, but she's pretty passed out. Today we'll move through asana and pranayama intended to cultivate a sense of conditioning. As I mentioned, it's naked yoga. I invite you to wear your favorite underwear. Today, I'm wearing Hanes. As well, I invite you to shed whatever feels comfortable. Remember, this is your practice. Today, I have some water with me. I've got some blocks. There's a towel somewhere nearby. When you're ever you're ready, we'll go ahead and meet in a comfortable seated position on the mat. Feel grounded through all four corners of the sit bones. Press those, press those hips down in the earth. Feel the palms pressing in. Guide the shoulders up the back, up the chest, and down the back. Up the chest, down the back. Feel grounded. Inhale. As it feels comfortable, exhale. And on your next inhale, guide your hands to the sky. Drop your hands down, prayer pose in front of heart center. Close your eyes, soften your gaze. As I mentioned today, we'll move through some conditioning movements. Begin to bring constriction to the back of your throat, activating your ujjayi breath, inhale. Hear the sounds of ocean waves crashing against the beachfront. Exhale. Go ahead and set an intention for today's practice, whether it's to get into a new pose or to try something completely new like naked yoga. Keep breathing. Keep noticing your breath. Soften your face, your jaw, your tongue away from the top of your mouth. Go ahead and inhale and open your eyes. Come over your toe, come over your legs, press those palms in towards the earth. We'll start in tabletop pose. Arch the back, press the tops of the feet in towards the earth. Inhale, bring your drish to your gaze up and exhale, round the back for cat. Inhale, come up. Guide the low belly in, knit the ribs in. And as you're ready, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. We'll stay here for just a moment. Heels high, knees low, walk to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, maybe you bring your hands to a block to support your practice, bringing the floor closer towards your hands. Feel extension from the tailbone of the crown, maintaining the natural curvature of the low spine. Sit your hips together, guide them back, chair pose, and exhale, stand, Tadasana. Inhale the hands to the sky, face the camera this time, guide one hand to your hips, bring your body over the right, bringing energy to the left side. Inhale back to center left arm, guide your right arm up and over, we'll take a twist to the left, or take a stretch on the left. Inhale energy into that right side body. Inhale, come back to center, drop your hands down, to Dasana. And guide them up to the sky, sit back, chair pose. Hinge forward, come down towards your mat, half lift. Exhale, press those palms in, here we go. Bend those knees, walk or jump to the back of the mat. Come down, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or up dog, engage. Engage those thighs. Press those hips back, five breaths, one. Two, guide the biceps forward, the triceps back to feel the shoulders draw down the back. Three, bend those knees, start to pedal out your legs. Four, and five, heels high, knees low, walk or jump to the top. Inhale, half lift, exhale down. Chair pose, and exhale down, Tadasana, palms forward. Back up, chair pose, 
We got 15 minutes to do this. Get back down there. Inhale, half lift. And exhale down. Bend those knees. Walk or jump to the back. Chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or up dog. And exhale over those toes, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Heels high, knees low, walk or jump to the top. Half lift and exhale, hinge forward. Grab those blocks, we'll take a standing splits. Press all four corners of that front right foot in towards the earth and exhale, guide that left leg back. Keep your toes facing down. Maybe hinge forward and exhale, drop that left leg down. Press all four corners of the front foot in. Guide that right leg up. Keep balance in the hips as you hinge forward. And exhale down. Feet together, sit back, chair pose. And exhale, drop those hands down, palms forward, Tadasana. Here we go again. Back up, chair pose. Hinge forward, Tadasana or sorry, hinge forward, Uttanasana. Press the top of the right foot in, left leg back, standing splits. Exhale down. All four corners of the left foot, inhale the right up. And exhale down. Bring those feet down, bring those palms in towards the mat, press those, sorry, bend those knees, walk or jump to the back. Chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or up dog. And exhale over those toes, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Five breaths, one. Two. Three. Four. Five, guide that right leg up, right foot up towards your hands. Drop that left heel down, keep the hips facing forward and pelvis in neutral position, guide the hands to the sky. Warrior one. Feel support in that front leg, engage the glutes. Bring your mind to your body, feel the glutes engage, feel them getting bigger. Exhale, drop that hand down, engage that left leg, right leg back, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or up dog. And exhale over your toes, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Five breaths, one. Two, draw that low belly in. Three. Four. Five, press that right foot in, guide that left leg up to the sky. Right foot up at your hands, drop that heel down. Pelvis faces forward, guide those hands to the sky, warrior one. Press into all four corners of both feet, feel grounded. Bring, draw the low belly in. Guide your hands down, right foot up, inhale, half lift. And exhale down, grab those blocks. We'll take some more standing splits. Inhale, guide the left leg up, press into that right foot. Bend the right knee. And exhale down, we'll take it to the left side, to the right side. Guide that right leg up. And exhale down. Hinge forward, sit those hips back, guide the hands to the sky, chair pose. And exhale, palms forward, Tadasana. Inhale the arms up. Throw a swan dive down. Halfway lift. Exhale down. Bend those knees. Walk or jump to the back. Chaturanga. Inhale into cobra or up dog. 
and over those toes, hips to the sky, downward facing dog, five breaths, one, two, bring the, te- the knees parallel to the second and third toes by rotating the legs inside of the acetabulum, three, the hip socket, four, five, guide that right leg up, bring your right foot up towards your hands, kick that left heel down, come up, warrior two, feel into both legs, feel balance, guide the chest under, over the hips, and exhale, windmill those arms down, left leg back, or right leg back, chaturanga, cobra, take a vinyasa, And we'll all meet in down dog or child's pose. Five breaths, one. Bend those knees. Two. Three. Four. Five. Guide that left leg up, left foot at your hands, kick those arms up, warrior two. Feel into that back leg, feel into that front, feel balance. Bring your arms forward, stretch in the backside body. Guide those shoulder blades away from each other. Win, now those arms down. Left leg back, chaturanga, take a vinyasa. And we'll all meet in downward dog, five breaths, one, two, three, four, five, heels high, knees low, walk or jump to the top. Half lift and exhale, hinge forward. Sit back to your pose and exhale, hinge up to dasana. Palms forward. Inhale, arms up. Sit back to your pose. Guide your hands to prayer pose in front of heart center. And hinge forward. Guide that right elbow to your left knee. Take a twist to the left. And exhale down. Inhale up, chair pose. Exhale, prayer pose. In front of heart center, hinge forward. Take that left elbow to your right knee. Take a twist to the right. And exhale, hinge forward. Fingertips towards your toe, your shins. Guide your body back down. Take a, your right foot behind your left and we'll sit in a comfortable seated position. Bring your feet together. We'll come into Baddha Konasana. Bring both knees towards the earth. Send your arms to the sky. Draw that low belly in. Maybe bring your hands to third eye, prayer pose, or you can start to hinge forward. And exhale back to center. Bring the feet out. Bring the feet towards the glutes. Grab the knees and we'll come down one vertebra at a time to the mat. Rotate the femur heads inside of the acetabulum forward and backwards. Guide those feet to the earth. Feel stretch. And inhale, bring those knees back up. Guide that right leg down, left foot, left hips, two inches to the left. Guide that left leg over, send your left arm out. Maybe bring your gaze that way. Inhale, back to center, left arm takes that left knee. And we'll come back. I'm going to switch sides. Knees back up, guide that left leg down. Grab the right knee with your left hand, hips to the right, 
three, two inches. Guide that right knee over to the left. Send your right arm out. And guide your arm back up to center. Grab your right knee and bring it back home. Hips to the left. Inhale, guide those knees up. I invite you to take any poses and subtle movements that you weren't quite able to make it to during this practice. If you're gonna to continue to do it, go ahead. And as you're ready, we'll come into a very short Shavasana. Bring your, hand, your feet up towards the sky, reach out, happy baby. Take your baby wherever you'd like to go. And as it feels comfortable, bring the feet together, drop those feet towards the earth. Send your legs out. Bring the shoulders down towards the mat. Feel all of the skin in the back touching. Touching down on your mat. Keep breathing. Keep noticing your breath. And as it feels comfortable, let the palms face up. Guide the legs out so that the insides of the feet face up towards the earth. We'll stay here for a few rounds of breath. Begin to quicken the breath. If you'd like to remain in Shavasana, this would be a great moment to pause me. I'll give you a moment in which you can. Just start to wiggle the fingers, the toes, maybe bring movement to the ankles and the wrists. Guide your hands above your body. Inhale, get that low belly in. And exhale your hands above your body. Take a good morning stretch. Start to walk those feet towards your glutes, your gluteus, and drop those knees towards one side. Coming into a comfortable fetal position, guide your body back up to center and come into a comfortable seated position. Inhale the arms to the sky, drop them down, prayer pose in front of third eye center, close your eyes or soften your gaze. The light in the teacher in me acknowledges and appreciates the light in the teacher in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can tweet me at fitness bros. You can find me on Instagram at bros.fitness. You can hit my Patreon page up or you can always hit me up on brosfitness.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Alan. I'll be around for a little bit to answer some questions. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.